As you close your physical eyes, begin to surrender your body fully to gravity. Release all the tension from your forehead and from between your brows. Your jaw is slack and your tongue is soft. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Arms are heavy and your core is relaxed. Hips are grounded and open and your legs are splayed out in complete relaxation. Take a moment to clear your mind, arriving at darkness. Now, as you open your mind's eye, you find yourself standing at the edge of a vast green orchard. You look down and notice that your feet are bare. The grass underneath feels so refreshing, and as you wiggle your toes into it, the blades tickle between them slightly. It is a welcome sensation. Through the soles of your feet, a very grounding energy starts to rise up from the ground. It makes its way all the way up to the top of your head. This energy sends a deep humming vibration through your body. You take a slow and full inhalation. And on the exhalation, any lingering tension you had been holding on to melts away. Completely at ease, you look ahead of you. You are standing in between two lines of trees. The rows go on as far as the eye can see, all the way to the horizon. You gaze toward the massive tree closest to you and you notice something peculiar. Huh, these are not apple trees. You feel a pull coming from the tree closest to you and begin walking towards it. The tree is so large, you walk right under its majestic canopy with plenty of headroom to spare. The sun had been hiding behind a cloud, but it just broke free, and its brilliant beaming rays begin filtering down through the breaks in the branches and leaves above. You make your way up to the trunk of this ancient tree. This tree, and all the others in this orchard, have the appearance of the southern oak tree, Its main trunk and snaking branches are so thick you could easily begin climbing it. It's tempting, but instead, you simply place your left hand on the trunk. It is surprisingly warm. You feel its strength and resilience through the connection, and something else, its wisdom, old and peaceful. You begin to trace your fingers over the bark. Its rough texture is satisfying, and you are drawn in even closer. Your arms expand out like wings and you embrace the trunk, your right cheek pressed firmly up against it. Its warmth soothes you to the core. That soft humming vibration coursing through you from the ground becomes amplified by your physical connection. And you start to sense something else too. The root system below. Its complexity and expansiveness is impressive. It connects all the trees in this orchard You sense their pulsating vitality keenly. As you stay connected to this trunk and its roots, your attention begins to notice one channel that leads to pain. You realize that this tree that you are hugging is apparent to quite a few of the others in the orchard. One of its children is hurting, and in response, this parent tree aches as well. You feel a compulsion towards its child. At that moment, A large acorn falls from above, clunking you on the top of the head. Ouch! You release your embrace, one hand rubbing the point of impact, the other reaching down and picking up the nut. This acorn is not the color you were expecting, but is instead a gorgeous deep indigo. And as you move it into a ray of light for a better look, you see that its pericarp, the protective wall around the seeds, is radiant. It sparkles in the direct sunbeam. You look up from the acorn and towards the direction you felt the pain. You still feel it, and you begin running towards the source, deeper into the orchard. You are now connected to the root system and it leads you. Your run is swift and frictionless, as if you are gliding over the ground. Wow, you're strong. No wonder that giant acorn didn't really hurt your head. You're cutting through the orchard on a diagonal, sometimes under the canopies, sometimes in the open green lanes between. This field feels endless, but you know you're close now. Then, 
In a clearing where there should have been a canopy, you see it. You slow down, approaching the stump curiously. It isn't as thick as its parent tree, but still impressive in size. It has been a stump for a long time. The top is dark and dry, and there are cracks all around the edges. Squatting down beside it, you gingerly grab a piece of peeling bark from its side between your thumb and index finger and ease it back a little. There is still life underneath. The other trees have been sending this one nutrients for decades, supporting it even on its deathbed. You gaze up towards the center of the stump and you notice a deep crevice. The acorn in your hand begins to heat up and you know what you must do, but you still feel a touch apprehensive. Straightening your legs, you look around, but you're all alone. Everything is peaceful in this orchard, save for this hurting tree stump. Without more thought, you lean over and drop the acorn in the crevice. Huh, nothing happens. And you realize you are holding your breath in anticipation. You take a slow and full inhalation. and gently exhale. You shrug your shoulders and turn away from the tree stump, making your way back to a green lane between the rows of oaks. You turn back to look one last time, and then it happens. The tree stump begins to glow white, but the glow doesn't stop there. It pours out onto the grass and quickly spreads out in all directions, climbing up the closest trees as well. A moment of fear passes through you, your flight response kicking in as it speeds up towards you. But you know you cannot escape it and decide to surrender to whatever will happen. The light reaches you and you begin to glow white as well. Everything alive in this orchard is now luminous. Even the root system below is alight. You are overcome with love. A love like you have never experienced before. You know intrinsically that this love is unconditional. Even your darkest thoughts are loved. You had never been loved unconditionally before. And as you bask in it, you feel your own love and acceptance for everyone and everything expanding. This divine love cracked your heart open. It may have only lasted a brief moment, but you are irrevocably and irreversibly transformed. The glowing white begins to fade, and everything goes back to the lush green it was before. You look up, and a smile breaks across your face. Now, in the place where the fading stump used to be, resides a large, vibrant, glorious tree. You healed it. You close your eyes and feel peace emanating from the entire orchard and also from within you, deep, deep within. Slowly, begin to tune into your physical body once again. Draw a little more awareness to your breath. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Start rolling out your wrists and your ankles. On your next inhalation, extend your arms up overhead, maybe hooking a wrist. Take a full body stretch like you're just waking up. Alternate between flexing the heels and pointing the toes. On your next exhalation, curl into a ball. Give yourself a little hug and maybe rock side to side if that feels good for your sacrum. Slowly, drop to whichever side is calling to you. Using your arm as a cushion, bring your knees in as close as feels good, flexing into the back side. Take several deep and mindful breaths into the back side of your heart. From here, it's your choice. Feel free to stay down, relaxing, or you can rock up to an easy seated position. Thank you so much for your time and participation. Peace and love.